energy arts family hello welcome back computer's been acting crazy it's working though that's that's great yay so we see this tweet from governor abbott heartbreaking attacks outside kabul airport please join me in praying for the injured u.s military members all of our troops our allies <clears throat> and the innocent lives lost and this you know, is something that they were talking about, the chance that a terrorist group, ISIS, you know, why would they name it ISIS in the first place? Again, they do these things where they twist everything that's good, make it evil. Everything that's evil, try to make it look good. This is part of the system that we have going on. And, you know, this global system, that's in place doesn't care at all about human lives or non-human lives when you get down to it. No, they don't at all. And that's something that's really, really critical as we walk through these times to keep in mind, keep that in the back of your mind that you are very, very important and you need to really take good care of yourself because they're not going to, they're not looking out for your best interest, you need to take a look and see what's being advertised and see what the agenda is. There's always an agenda. Yeah, you know, and before we get into this, you might want to check the news coming out of Japan as far as talking about what's going on with the P-L-A-G-U-E upon the land and some of the things that they have found out recently. And again, we have to talk very, very carefully uh, because, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. just that quick and that easy. And even with certain subjects on certain uh, vids, we notice right away, we, we get hammered. And, you know, they either bury it or they attack you in other ways. It's unfortunately part of the times that we're in, as, you know, we are again seeing the rise of a new Reich in a global scale before our very eyes. And so what's happened is there's been a suicide bombing and somebody unfortunately went and ran and blew themselves up. And from what we're hearing as far as tweets, lots and lots of lives lost, which is really, really sad. And you know, this is from breaking 9-11. You could see the smoke after it went off. The camera was, following a different section of uh, the area by the airport. And then there's like a shake. And then you see this smoke coming. Um, obviously, this has been a complete travesty. This has been, you know, a horror movie that we're watching where, you know, every turn that you see is like, well, how could this get worse? Mm -hmm. You know, well, we know it could get worse. And, you know, this is the way it's getting worse. U.S. officials predict ISIS attacks in Kabul likely to continue as you're looking at an overhead. Several people killed, three U.S. troops wounded. Um, all these numbers are going to rise a lot from what we're hearing. And this is Anand Ranganathan not sharing the horrific videos because there are nasty videos out there. Um, you know, just, you don't want to see them. And hopefully you don't want to see them. I know people on this channel won't really want to see them. Uh, though there are those out there that, you know, again, they just got to go and stare at the accident. Mm -hmm. Images of the bomb attack in Kabul airport, more than a hundred men, women, and children hoping to escape reportedly killed. You know, again, the little ones as well. What monsters who did this? What absolute monsters? Yeah, yeah. And especially when monsters will often portray themselves as saints. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the case in this world where you know, we have somebody riding up with a white hat and you're like, yay, we're saved. Yay, yay. But in reality, it's not a white hat. No, it's not. And that's what predators do. They make themselves out to be really good, good people <clears throat> to the majority 
only a select few behind the scenes know what they truly are, but that's that's the that's how it works with predators. And this is a White House correspondent saying again, sources briefed on the situation in Kabul tells me hundreds of let's just call them terrorists in the vicinity attacks likely to continue. So this is unfortunately perhaps not the one and out, you know, or one and done. The Kabul airport attack has nixed the hopes of evacuation for the last thousand, still hoping to make it out. I'm hearing the U.S. military is sealing shut the airport gates. Casualty numbers are growing by the minute. A tragedy piled on a tragedy. And so this is the Washington Post Beirut bureau chief covering Syria, Liz Sly. And of course, you know, we, we've all heard about the August 31st deadline that the Taliban has issued, and then you're basically done. Um, Russia has pulled about 300 of their people out, but yet we hear of airplanes that are leaving pretty much empty with just a few people on it when there's so many people that want to get out. So it begs you to ask the question, and we have to ask this question time and time and time again. How in the world could we possibly have such incompetence? What if it's not exactly incompetence? You know, can they be that incompetent? Can they possibly be that incompetent? It's a very painful conclusion to come to when you finally weigh everything out and realize, wow, <laughs> this, is, this is a little deliberate here. Well, I mean, that's basically what I was trying not to say, but to, Sorry. but to, you know, allude to how could it possibly be, how could we have such, you know, let's be real about it, idiots running the place. Is it possible that they're really that ill-equipped, unprepared, you know, you, you could... Well, it, it makes me think of California, right? Because they're having uh, the potential recall of the governor over there, who obviously is somebody that it's been discovered, he believes totally in the mantra, do what I say, not what I do. And honestly, when I look at him, I see almost a clone of what I see over in France, you know, where France is being led by a, ROTS child puppet. And, I, you know, we recognize, you know, that governor over in most governors, too. You know, they, anybody, when you get up to a certain high level, they get controlled one way or another. They either have dirt on you, they create dirt on you, they twist you with bribes, things along those lines. It's just part of the system. You know, I've seen like whining and dining going on at very, very low levels in the pharmaceutical industry, which, you know, I, I, I was a part of for about four years. And, you know, that was the part that was, uh, you know, it was such an eye opener in so many ways. And I already had my my inclinations where I knew there's certain things that I would never do, period. And, you know, I've, I've shared with you guys, I mean, I've gone decades and decades without taking anything as far as any sort of pharmaceutical, uh, because I, for the most part, don't, don't believe in the industry. That's just my personal opinion. But I saw the whining and dining that goes on and, the, you know, it, it's really pretty disgusting. And, and that's just that particular industry. How about politics? It, it's so far worse there. At least I would suspect it's worse there. What we have, though, going on is you got to look at the bigger purpose. What's this doing? What's this doing? Why will we have this going on now at a time when, in many eyes of the people over in Afghanistan, um, you know, there are many that are happy that there won't be an outside country controlling the situation. 
or will there? You know, who who is really still even controlling the Taliban? Just like who really controls ISIS? Who really controls Al Qaeda? <laughs> you know, I mean, really, when you look deep, I mean, I've seen pictures and you could still maybe Google them if they haven't been removed of the first president Bush looking pretty chummy with the person that supposedly did take down the towers or the mastermind way back in 01. And that person was on the payroll. And, you know, many of you guys know all this. And then there's people that are still waking up. That's why we have to, you know, touch base on it all again. So what's happening now? Well, obviously, everybody slanted to the right is just incensed because they're looking at this as a complete failure of the current number 46. And then uh, while I'm going through these tweets, I could see there's those out there on the left that are tweeting that somehow it's the fault of number 45. This is what goes on all the time. Again, this goes back to the Tower of Babel. Look, hey, you know, there was a time when mankind was united. We can't have that. Let's confuse their language. Let's set them upon each other. Let us put our leadership in all their top positions. And this way we could have nonstop global warfare. Yes. You know, and it's been this way for a very long time. This is nothing new. They do this over and over. It's a cyclical pattern for them. And right now we're in a place and time where we're going through a certain area in the photon belt where we are understanding more and more about oneness and more and more about being together and working together. So they must, absolutely must ratchet up the influences for us to be not just at, at each other's throats, but even internally have internal turmoil and on from there, you know, just to make sure as long as you're in a lot of turmoil inside, you're going to take that to the next person and the next person and then the next group and then the next state and then the next country and on and on. And, you know, people right now, people in the U.S., people in the UK and Australia and New Zealand, you know, I really do feel for our brothers and sisters in Australia and New Zealand with the level of L-O-C-K down that's going on over there. That's absolutely, uh, you know, terrifying. I, I don't know how you could say anything else. And I-N-S-A-N-E to most people looking on saying, this is crazy. You know, this this is just, how can we be at this point? Well, you know, it, it's all part of a much, much bigger picture that, again, in many cases, you know, are things that come into play after years, decades, and it might blow people's minds, but even centuries, perhaps, of planning. Yeah, I mean, it's just the way it is. It's Something, it's a reality. We need to look at it and deal with it. So as we've been telling you guys, you know, the message that we've gotten from the guides, from the galactics, you know, from the devas um, and the angelic realm all along is hang on tight because it's really ratcheting up. This is another one of these, you know, attacks that we've seen a lot, unfortunately, in this world. Is this one a little different? This one's a little different because of the circumstances that are going on and the level that people are stressed out right now, the level that people are divided right now, because we are so divided into different camps. And so, you know, the finger pointing is going to be even super, more intense as, you know, the L-O-C-K down is, is getting more and more intense, ratcheting up ever more every day. We see it, we feel it. Uh, the shortages starting to develop more and more. It's starting to become more and more obvious. You know, so again, our preparation has to be at the highest level. And let us, again, use our intent. And it has to be that we wake up a certain amount of people. 
because these events pull people in emotionally. And so, again, you're going to have people on the right that their intense hatred of the left and the current number 46, again, who is nothing but a pup at on a string, you know, it's pretty damn obvious. I don't think he could tie his shoes at this point in time. How is he leading the quote unquote free world? And it's an oxymoron because everything is turned upside down and backwards, upside down and backwards. The U.S. in 2017 was the last year I saw the stats that were clear and definitive. And at that year, we had a military presence, the United States military presence in over 90% of the countries on the globe. That's, that's the Roman Empire past its height. That's, you know, for those that are history buffs, you know uh, that basically the Mongols, you know, under the Khans, Kublai and Ganges and the others as well. That was the greatest empire of as far as the expanse that the world has ever seen. But really, it's at its greatest point now. And even if it does change its headquarters from D.C. to Beijing, at least apparently, it's still the same system. Yes, <laughs> that's it. You know, same old, same, how do they say that? Same boss, different something or other. I don't know. It's a cute little pithy saying. I forgot. Same boss, same. I forgot. Uh, you new guys. boss, same as the last yes, or something same as like the that. Old you, boss. Guys, you guys will know. Yes, thanks, you guys. I think, what, the who did that, right? Yeah, yeah. Going way, way back. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, this is a mess. It's probably going to get worse. It's all about inciting us to, as always, fight each other. Instead of recognizing that the problem is a top-down problem, the top is the problem, the very top. And unfortunately, there's so many people in this world that are just completely snoozing at the wheel that don't even take the time because, you know, it, it reminds me of a tool, storm, tool song, you know, fret for your latte. Oh, you're all worried because the guy at Starbucks screwed up your latte. But you don't think twice about, you know, innocent kids being blown up in Afghanistan because it doesn't affect you directly. Now, I know you guys are not like that, but there are people out there that are like that. Or they just don't want to hear it because what can I do about it anyway? But if we all spoke up and we all refused to be part of the system anymore, then things would change. and look for suggestions on what you think would be a way to get out of the system. How can we get out of this system? And Brother Dave in the UK was just saying, hey, check out Tropical Depression number nine. And yes, this does look like this can be an issue, so I just wanted to bring this up. Current track could be a category one when it gets into the Gulf without any artificial flavoring involved, they're showing it potentially being a two, perhaps at landfall. And it looks like it's aiming at New Orleans or Louisiana. Keep an eye anywhere from, you know, Galveston all the way over to the panhandle on this one. Because, yeah, again, you know, we live in crazy times. Got to ask, what's going on with all those satellites up there? Mm -hmm. Kind of curious that we see a lot of artificial flavoring in the world at this time. Yes, we do. We see a little, a little too much for comfort. Yes. So thank you guys for being part of the family. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. Have the bell click so hopefully you'll get a notification or two. And you know, check anyway because we only usually miss maybe about five days a year as far as not getting a video up. So if you're not getting notifications, just come and check. There's probably going to be something posted. Thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. And also thanks for checking out Medicinal Foods. Lots of good stuff. Link at every video up at the top of the page. Stay prepared, guys. Keep sending your positive vibes. Keep trying to wake up the sleepwalking, zombified world that we live in. God bless. Namaste. Namaste.